Hi everyone and welcome back to MBA 590. In this section we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, the Google Academy for Ads. We've been you know, talking this whole week about uh, how to do search engine marketing and a big component of that is pay-per-click advertising via Google search ads among others. Uh, and Google has a great uh, ability for you to kind of do that uh, and to learn about how to do that advertising very easily via their academy and again it's another one of these programs where you can go through you can get certified it gives you a little another button to you know another line to put on your CV and kind of proves to the rest of the world that you are in fact uh, kind of certified uh, you have the ability to use uh, Google Ads so you know you just you do your standard sign in you kind of just have to do a um, a um, uh, you use your whatever your Google account is and then once you go through uh, it'll give you some options to ask whether or not you want to share your uh, information with your company etc um, this allows other members of your company to see which of the Academy programs you completed or not I'm gonna put no just because it's my personal account instead so once you log in you get to this website that's kind of the, the default home page and there's a bunch of things about just how to navigate the website and everything like that most of that is is pretty kind of standard there's not much interesting um, there's a bunch of kind of things that will try to feature the components that you might be most interested in right now it seems to be pushing a lot of like double click stuff for me which is um, in particular automated campaign management system right uh, but then it can talk about how to do certification right so you can get the AdWords mobile certified AdWords search certified uh, so let's check out the AdWords mobile certification for instance so you go to the AdWords mobile and it says you need to complete first the AdWords fundamentals before you can do the certification. So then you can click on the AdWords fundamentals and it takes you through each of the different components. So, you know, I, you could go straight ahead and just go to the AdWords fundamentals assessment, skip all the different studying for it, or I can go and I can do the kind of learn the basics and go along, right? So um, in this case, right, it's interesting. It has this broken down by um, kind of a more interactive experience as some of the other um, certifications that we've seen. So in this case, it says, your boss is thinking of advertising online, so she asks you where AdWords ads can show. What would you tell her? Select each card to learn more. Google search YouTube, NewYorkTimes.com, right? And of course, it actually can show up on NewYorkTimes.com uh, because of the fact that you can run the ads and have it shown on other Google search partners. YouTube, yep, of course, that's a Google product. And of course, Google search, right? Um, and so it's kind of a nice way to kind of just brush up a more interactive way to study the concepts, kind of learn what's going on. Um, and then you can uh, go down and start to ask, you know, answer some questions, go through the recap, and then eventually you can mark it complete, right? Um, and once you mark it complete, it'll actually do the little checkout. So this is kind of nice. It gives you some assessment. And then when you're all done, you can go to the fundamentals assessment page. And you can actually talk, take an actual assessment request. And in this case, it's 65 questions, 90 minutes, um, and then you need a score of 80% or higher to pass. Um, and it kind of gives you a way to get those certifications. And if you go, let's go all the way back out. Now that we've taken you through kind of what one of them looks like, let's go all the way back to the original academy. Okay. And so once you've done all that, you can see all the different components that you are kind of working on, things you're experiencing. One thing I played around with was the new Google Web Designer, uh, which uh, I might be creating a tutorial for in the future. Uh, it has a cool little way that lets you design your um, actual ads uh, to go up there and kind of for the display ads, right? And so you can write out the code using a free Google product to actually create your ads. Um, and of course, there's a help and a feedback and all that kind of stuff. But uh, in the end, right, like this is kind of the, the basic um, component tree for how to study Google Ads using the Ads Academy. Um, you can go through the profile once you've done some, and it'll start to create, right, some, uh, some achievements for you. And then eventually your certifications will show up here as well, right? So yet another good way to keep up to date um, certifications for Google Ads do expire whenever that particular product category is updated, which tends to be in about a year. There's a, a description about that over here, right? That says that you'll main battle until a product area assessment expires. Um, so for example, if you pass the search advertising assessment in May, you'll need to retack and pass both the 
Um, AdWords fundamental assessment and search advertising assessment when the search advertising assessment expires in May of the following year. So they try and keep you up to date, right? You need to do to redo these assessments on a regular basis in order to gain your certification, right? Um, once you receive uh, that accreditation, uh, you can put that on your various um, business documents, right? And they have some discussion about that as well. So I highly recommend, you know, I'm like, the reason why I show you all these instructional tools is, as we've talked about, I'm, you know, you can't take this class again, again, again. Um, and so I'd rather teach you the fundamentals of what Google Ads are about, what the, what the search engine advertising is about, and then point you to these tools that really kind of provide you with some up-to-date information as to how exactly to build a search engine ad for that particular year, right? Um, and this is a great example of how to do that. Okay. Uh, Thanks everyone, and next week we'll be talking about uh, user experience and website design.